vaccine mandates, we know they're nothing new for children entering school. The shot students are required to get varies depending on where you live. Some states require more than others, but why? Here's our why guy all new this morning. An outbreak of smallpox led to big changes in the state of Massachusetts. In 1827, the city of Boston made history by mandating vaccines for public school children. As the disease continued to spread, cities and states throughout the country followed Boston's lead. Smallpox is no longer an issue. Now states require students to undergo shots to prevent a variety of illnesses before entering school. Let's look at why some states require vaccines that others don't. The CDC issues recommendations, but there are no federal mandates. It's state by state. The states can decide. There is a certain uniform with chickenpox, mumps, measles, rubella. Whooping cough and the polio vaccine are required for school children in all 50 states. According to the Immunization Action Coalition, the hepatitis B vaccine is required for all but two states, Alabama and South Dakota. Half require the hepatitis A vaccine, while half don't. Dr. L.J. Tan of the coalition says states typically consider their own particular situation. If they decide as a state we do not have high rates of hepatitis A, um, they can say, well, we're not going to use our resources that way. Only six states and New York City mandate that school kids get the flu vaccine. Dr. Tan says the issue is that vaccine's effectiveness. And since it's only 60 to 70 percent effective, can we legitimately mandate it? Hawaii, Rhode Island, and Virginia are the only states that require school children to get the HPV vaccine. Georgia is among the 34 states that mandate the vaccine to prevent meningitis.